Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Nice to see so many of you here. Not as many as the Latin lecture, but never mind. <laughs> okay. My God, that's the colour, isn't it? <laughs> you glow in the dark. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, I am a little bit limited in what I can do today because of that. Okay. Right. So that's the result of teaching heavy girls. <laughs> no, actually, I my fell down the So I can't express maybe some of the things I want in movement today. All right. Uh, so, so you will hopefully you will forgive me for that. But what I really want to talk about is something that is very, very dear to me, right? And I am not a person who is against development. But I will not throw the technique book out of the window. And I see so many bad things that create bad footwork, bad leg action, right? And it's all based around posture. If you haven't got the correct posture, you cannot balance correctly individually or with your partner. So, we have to start thinking about what is correct posture. If I walk from here, where is my body weight centered? Any answers? My centre of gravity is down here, isn't it? It certainly isn't up here. Now what has that done for me straight away? It's put my weight backwards. What is the lady's reaction? She tries the same. So now we have, we have weight working in opposition. Now some people talk about counterbalance, which is quite a, quite a good word, but what does it mean? And, and to, I'm going to try and show you how we should, the first thing we should do through the correct posture is how we relate our body positions to one another. Now what I see mostly today, especially from the younger ones coming up, you do what you think you see when they talk about presentation or a topic. And it seems to be a modern trend that the lady sets up the position of the partnership instead of the man setting up the position. Now to show you that, I have a young lady who was previous Australian champion and one of the world's top couples, but Blackpool for example. So she worked. The last time I ever touched her was two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I've not seen her since then either. So, if we don't really get together, let's have a look. First of all, I want Anna to imagine she's mad. Okay? Now, this is what I see from the girls, and I absolutely go mad when I see it. <laughs> right. Now, look at this for a start. How, I don't care what you think about whether it's dance form or whatever, elegance is part of our style of dancing. Yeah? Even in the Latin, it, it's about style, it must not look ugly. Now, you had a Latin lecture today that talked about posture and foot pressure, I'm sure, am I right? Right. And how the, how the center was motivated. Ballroom is no different. Ballet dancers are no different. Right? How do you think she looks so beautiful like that? Right? She's because she's centered. She's got her weight over the foot. So, look, if I come in again as girl and I do this, where from my shoulders to my head, is behind my foot. So
So if Anna wants to take a swing with me from there, she has no chance because I'm, I'm moving my head and shoulders first. So what happens? The boy's like, wait, wait. <laughs> now you know why I got that. Right? <laughs> Right? So immediately there's a resistance because of the pull. Right, so how do we do it? So ladies, please remember what your mother told you. Right? Don't open your legs in front of the man. <laughs> so from here, right? Now Anna is going to be the perfect lady. Okay? Now note now if I stand uh, probably that way, the quite good side of the camera. Right. So, notice that we, we're standing down. What are the two most dangerous words in boring dancing? Pardon? Bend your knees. No, stand up. Because <laughs> as soon as you think that, you stand up. Right? You stand down. I have an up feeling, and so does Anna, an up feeling from there through the inner thigh through to the lower abdominal muscles, and everything above that is down. Imagine if you had to pick up two heavy suitcases. Right? You don't walk to the airport with them up there. <laughs> yeah? So imagine now you've got a, 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 a downward energy meeting an upward energy. And where the two meet is approximately our contact area. Right. So bearing that in mind, I shall take a small step forward on my left foot, and hopefully my partner will step a small step on her right foot, right? And as I do it, I simply open my arms and move my back up to her. So I've not changed anything physically. So an inner extension is very, very desirable. Expansion is a total disaster. With no trips come up, and you know what? I've got one, I've got half an extra rib on this side. <laughs> Who's here? Right, now, if I lifted that on my wife, right, she would have divorced me. <laughs> <laughs> so, you've got to keep everything down. Okay? Now, notice as well as the arms do not go out and back. We both take the arms forward to one another, make it from there. Okay? So then, she's working with me. So, ladies, uh, let me ask you, 